What happens when the pencil is put into water? It looks like it bends. The pencil is not actually bent, but you see an image of the pencil that makes it appear to be bent. The pencil appears to be bent because the light rays changed direction when they reached the boundary between water and air. Your brain doesn't know that the light ray changed direction at the boundary. It assumes that the ray travelled in a straight line and so interprets the image to be in a position above the actual object. Does the image appear above the object in the picture? This bending of light rays when they enter a new transparent medium is called refraction. Before we can explain this phenomenon properly, we need to understand why and how light bends at a boundary. To explain what happens to light when it enters a new medium, we will use the analogy of a shopping trolley being pushed at an angle from smooth tar onto soft sand. Click on the trolley. At the boundary, the right front wheel enters the sand first. What happens to its motion? Wonderful. What happens when all four wheels have crossed into the sand? That's it. The direction changes at the boundary. When the left back wheel reaches the sand, the whole trolley slows down, stops turning, and moves in a straight line at a constant speed. Light bends when it enters a new medium for exactly the same reason. Its speed slows down when it enters medium 2. How will this cause the ray of light to bend as it passes into the new medium? Well done. Light is behaving exactly like the trolley we looked at. If the light is traveling in the opposite direction, it simply reverses its path, just like the trolley would. Make sure you understand why. Remember the trolley? You know that its path bent towards the normal when it moved from tar onto sand, because its wheels go slower in sand. For light, a bigger refractive index means that light travels slower. So for the same reason, light is refracted towards the normal when traveling from air, with a lower refractive index, into water, with a higher refractive index. We can learn a little rhyme to help us remember the direction of refraction. Traveling from a less optically dense medium into a more optically dense medium, it's refracted towards the normal. Try saying it like this to help you remember it. From less into more, it's refracted towards. The opposite is also true. 